self defense myth 53 if I have my headphones in on my hood up uh, people will know I don't want to talk to them and so they'll leave me alone the people who, who target you to mug you are not interested in having a conversation with you so putting the headphones in the hood up means regular polite members of society will give you wide berth they don't, you know, they're not going to interfere with you because you headphones in, put up, you're probably walking a bit of a clip so that people know oh, they don't want to stop and chat. The bad element who are going to mug you are going to target you even more because you've got your hood up and your headphones in. So now you can't hear them and you can't see them properly because you've cut off your peripheral vision. So this idea of I'm going to do this, I'm going to be in my own little bubble and people will leave me alone. Good people will leave you alone. The bad people are going to target you more. That's what they look for. You're switched off. You're in your own little world. They're going to come and get you. Um, the idea that the bad guys are going to respect your boundaries is horseshit. You need to get rid of that notion right now. If if the bad guys would look at you and go, oh, you know what, they've got the headphones in and they've got the hood up and they're walking at a bit of a pace, they probably don't want to be hassled. I'll, I'll move on to somebody else. That's not the bad guy mentality. That's not how they work. So you need to get rid of that notion as soon as you can. Having the headphones in, having your hood up makes you more of a target. It makes you more vulnerable. If you disagree with this, um, that's unfortunate, but you're wrong. Do feel free to leave a comment telling me why you think I might be wrong. Leave a comment telling me why you think I might be right. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to go over in a future video, let me know. Pop it in the box. Until next time, train hard, train smart, stay safe, stay indoors and wash your hands.